before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other. And I love you. And a happy Valentine's Day. <sighs> Darling, you drive me mad. <laughs> Utterly insane is the only word that can be used to describe how I feel. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's true. You sit next to me, all dolled up on this blanket that we knitted together on Valentine's Day, illuminated by the night sky. It's as if the stars chose to appear here just to light up your face. <laughs> It's not flattery if it's true. I only speak in plain facts and truths. Unless you disagree. Do you, dear? What happened? At a loss for words? <laughs> now, now. If you freeze up all of a sudden, who's going to tell me where the constellations are with such reverent passion? Oh, look who's all bold again. A challenge, I see. Of course. I know I can point out where Draco is. It's right... There. No. Ah, that is Lyra. Oh. Okay, genius, then. You tell me. Where is Draco? This is so confusing, we should... Probably have brought a telescope. So, is it there? No, no, o over there. You just said it's not in that direction. <laughs> Make up your mind. So, that one. I mean, obviously. <laughs> what do you mean that is not a constellation at all? Follow where you're pointing with your arm. Okay, darling. Oh, yeah, that one. Brilliant. Look at you, so smart and knowledgeable. What would I ever do without you, dear? I would be lost and hapless, never able to tell which constellation is which. Huh? What did you say? This was a plot to have you in my arms. No, it's just a coincidence, yeah. Totally a coincidence that an astrophysics major like me could not point out the constellations and had to bring his darling love, who is an astronomy geek, in his lap and hold them there to point out Draco, one of the biggest constellations. I don't know what you're talking about. It's totally all coincidence. That I have you here in my arms, all bundled up. Sweetheart, I know you can be uncomfortable sometimes with close contact, so if you want, I can put you back on the blanket and we could just hold hands. Oh my god, she cuddled up closer to me, and look at her all wrapped up like <laughs> quite the little burrito in the blankets. God, I love this woman. I I'm sorry, what were you saying, sweetheart? You want to hear about the other constellations? Okay, then come here and cuddle up, my little burrito. Keep us warm, won't you? I need warmth too, darling. You've cozied up in the blankets, but I'm here shivering. I mean, just look at my hands. Feel them. They are so cold. Oh, finally. You realize my plight? <laughs> Thanks for bringing them under the blankets. Just interlock those fingers to ensure equal distribution of heat. <laughs> Sly, you say. Dear, you don't realize that you, innocent little bunny, have been long trapped in mine. The amazing, handsome, 
cunning fox's trap. <laughs> okay, so now on with the constellation Draco. Draco is one of the largest constellations in the sky. It is located in the northern celestial hemisphere, and it represents Ladon, the dragon that guarded the gardens of Hesperides in Greek mythology. The name Draco means the dragon in Latin. You want to hear the story about it? Okay. The constellation Draco is associated with several myths. Most frequently, with the one about the twelve labors of Hercules, represented by the neighboring constellation Hercules, which is right there. In the myth, Draco represents Ladon, the dragon that guarded the golden apples in the gardens of the Hesperides. The golden apple tree, it was a wedding present to Hera when she married Zeus. She planted the tree in her garden on Mount Atlas and tasked Atlas's daughters, Hesperides, with guarding it. And then she placed the dragon Ladon around the tree so that the Hesperides would not try to pick any apples from it themselves. And as part of his 12 labors, Hercules was asked to steal some golden apples from the tree. He defeated Ladon with his poisoned arrows and took the apples. Saddened by the dragon's passing, Hera placed its image in the sky among the constellations. Draco is usually depicted coiled around the North Pole, with one foot of Heracles on its head. Our ancestors were so imaginative, were they not, dear? See, it, it has so many neighbors. It has the neighboring constellations that include Cygnus, Hercules, Lyra, Ursa Major and Minor. You want me to point them out for you? Okay, here. Intertwine your fingers with mine. What for? Well, for accuracy, obviously, dear. Look there. It's Cygnus. Right there. No, no. Point a little to the left. Good girl. That's Hercules. There, now, can you spot Ursa Major and Minor? <laughs> of course you can. I knew you could do it. You should have more faith in yourself, dear. After all, it was your wits that I fell head first for. Your beauty is just the cherry on top. Yeah. We don't come here as often as you'd want. Mostly. We don't take the time to actually enjoy such moments, do we? I mean, it's moments like these that I truly get to appreciate you. Your personality and your beauty. I, I think I've fallen in love with you all over again. We really shouldn't wait for Valentine's to come around. I know we're both so busy, but we should at least try to make time to do things like this more often. You know, you paint a beautiful picture in this meadow. I almost wish I was back in medieval times. Only in that era were there artists that deserve to be able to capture your beauty. <sighs> Darling, in this moment, under the watchful gaze of Draco and his celestial companions, I can't put into words my feelings for you. How I long for this quiet intimacy of ours, and how I desperately fall in love with you all over again, each and every day, with everything you do. I truly, with all of my heart, love you.